Hello, BookTube. Uh, I'm here to do a prompt. Uh, Steve Donahue tagged me in the Around the World in Eight Tees tag. Uh, originally done, uh, an original tag by uh, Book Time with Elvis. And there's eight prompts. And let's get to it. Uh, theater. Do you read plays? And... Yes, to a certain extent. Uh, not as much as I'd like to. I'd like to uh, read more. Um, and there's there's ones that I'm sort of trying to get a hold of uh, to read. Um, and, oh, tell us about one of my favorites. Uh, well, I'm going to throw that out the window. And I'm going to tell you about uh, several of my favorites. Um uh, oh, again, I can't even think of the names of this, but Inspector Calls, um, uh, is a fabulous play and a fabulous film, uh, with Alec Guinness. And for the life of me, I can't think of the author's name. Well, I got my phone here, so let's take a look. Uh, and Inspector Calls, J.B. Priestley. Yeah, I can I, as I start typing it, I, I remembered him. Um, and I like J.B. Priestley to begin with. I like I like his book. So that's one of my favorites. Another is Mary Chase uh, Harvey. And again, uh, made into a fabulous film uh, with, uh, with James Stewart. Uh, and another one, well, there's a few more. Uh, the uh, Arsenic and Old Lace with Cary Grant, uh, and um, yeah, it's just it's just a romp. I love that. Uh, um, Arsenic and Old Lace. That's by um, oh again, um, that is by Joseph Kesselring. Okay, and another one that I really love is uh, Berthold. That's a, not, not Berthold Breck. Uh, Waiting for Godot. Um, oh, again, my brain is just quite addled. Uh, waiting for uh, Godot. Um, Samuel Beckett. Like I'm sure a lot of you are screaming at the at the screen saying Samuel Beckett as I was doing this, but yeah, that's a fabulous one. Uh, another one that I begin to like is The Cat and the Canary by John Willard. It's a melodrama in three acts. I actually have this because I bought this uh, last year, but because I, I love the film the adaptations, uh, 1920. Seven, I think it is, by Paul Lenny, uh, silent version. Uh, and then there was a first sound version done, I think, in 31 or 32, called The Cat Creeps, but that um, is not, it, it doesn't exist anymore. It's a lost film, or considered a lost film. And then in 1939, it was done again, uh, sort of more comedy uh, in it with Bob Hope and the lovely uh, Paulette Goddard. Uh, I, I loved that film. Uh, and then in the late 70s, it was done again uh, for TV, I think it was, with a myriad of actors. Uh, Wendy Hiller's on there, um, great actress. Honor Blackman. Um, uh, oh, I can't, can't think off the top of my head, but it, they, they, they all have, they're all, and that one's done more serious. Uh, but it's just, I have not read, well, I have not read the play yet, so I can't say, I suppose, that this is a favorite play. Uh, but, um, but I think it, I think it will be because I love the film adaptations. Um, okay, let's see what the next one is. Travel. Sadly, we can't travel these days, but do you have a favorite travel writer or travel book to take you away on armchair adventures? Um, not something that I sort of read, but, but the stuff that I do like reading, I, 
I, there, there is some travel stuff that, that, that I have enjoyed in the past, and I can't even think off the top of my head, but generally it's exploration stuff, like African exploration that really gets me uh, going. Uh, uh, David Livingston um, and just all the rest, Mungo Park, uh, Baker, um, even Stanley. Uh, it just and speak. It just it just on and on and on. There's so much. Um, time. Uh, what book took you the longest time to read, and why was that? Um, I'm still in the midst of some of if I if I consider them uh, a book is Samuel Pepys Diaries, um, which is is going to be a long term thing, and it's just because I'm reading it slowly and at various times i had started it out last year uh reading it daily uh but i sort of uh things got out of hand and i i sort of left it and i just come back to it occasionally um and proust's uh what remembrance of things past or however you want to call it is another one that's uh i'm, I'm sort of it's a slow slow read for me um and I think that's about it. And it's, it's only because, uh, some ways, um, well, okay, here, here's another one. I, uh, the collected stories of, uh, or collected works of Edgar Allan Poe. I have not read everything yet because I don't want to finish reading everything of his. I want to have something new of his to read. And I, I dip into every so often. And I, I was like that up until about 15, I think it was 15 years ago with, uh, uh, the Sherlock Holmes stories. I didn't want to do this, but I, I couldn't find anything um, in the local library here when I came to, uh, to England, and I started working, and I, I, I was just dying for something to read. And I put in like 150 or 200 books into the thing, and it's like they don't have them on the shelf, and you had to pay for getting them. And uh, But they did have uh, two volumes, collected short stories, and then the novels. Um, and so I got those out and I read them and then it was like when I was done I'm like, oh, damn, I won't have any new Conan Doyle, uh, you know, uh, stories to read, but rereading is fine and it's great and it's the same as Edgar Allan Poe, but those are the reasons for that. Uh, traditional. Fairy tales or nursery rhymes, uh, what are some of your favorites and what are some you would not uh, think suitable for kids today? Um, I don't know about the not suitable for kids. Like, uh, it depends, uh, on the child, I think it is. And you can just, you know, you can explain certain things, but I think one of my favorite is the, um, uh, what is it? It's Hansel and Gretel. I think it is. Yeah. Um, that's one I've always liked cause it's, it's very, dark and it has a lot more meaning to it uh number five tasty food glorious food what are some of your favorite books about food i don't really read much about food unless it's sort of in a historical context kate uh uh colquin uh, cool Col i think that's her um the, how you pronounce it did a fabulous book it's called taste it's history of the english people um with food or something like that um, she's a fabulous writer. Um, uh, she's written sort of, uh, the, uh, sort of true crime, uh, book, uh, um, Mr. Briggs's hat. Um, the first sort of, uh, murder, I think on train. Uh, and that's just fabulous. Terrible. Who is a truly terrible, nasty, but memorable character that stands out for you. One that pops to mind immediately is PG in PG Woodhouse's uh, Jeeves and Worcester's novel, uh, Spode, um, the Earl of Sidcup, uh, Roderick Spode, and his brown shorts, I think it is. And the reason that's popped into mind is uh, I just did a sort of reading wrap-up, and I... I uh, have the uh, Blu-ray here, the BFI Blu-ray of the uh, Peter O'Toole's uh, Rogue Mail. And one of the extras on it is a 20-minute um, sort of newsreel 
of Mosley's uh, fascist march in 1937 uh, in London. And um, that's sort of who Spode was was characterized on. Instead, I think it's, yeah, the brown brown shorts, I think it is. Or is it black shorts? But I think it's brown shorts. Um, instead of the black shirts. Um, and it's just a send-up of that. But he's, he's a nasty character, but he is memorable uh, for that. And that's the one that pops to mind immediately. Truth. Uh, the truth is often stranger than fiction, they say. Give us some examples of this uh, from your extensive reading. And I think, well, yeah, true. I think it's just anything that's, that's nonfiction. Um, um, you know, you know, investigative journalism, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, just nonfiction generally. Uh, and I think some fiction will tell some truths, uh, you know, in, in, in a sort of, uh, roundabout way, uh, but not like I agree with uh, Steve Downey here about the recent stuff. But, but yeah, anything that's you know truthful is going to be nonfiction. Uh, if I, but I just not a hundred percent sure what the question is getting at, to be honest. And number eight is tag make up an eighth prompt directed to those uh, you wish to tag. Please stick to the theme of tea. Um. I'm not going to tag anybody, but I will uh, pick up a uh, um, well, a tea, uh, like one that would be time travel and books about time travel. Well, there's so many, but uh, some of my favorites are done by uh, um, Clifford Simak um, and uh, um, it just, yeah, there's, there's a lot like time and again, uh, um, there's Project Mastodon where they go back to, um, the prehistoric times to hunt, a uh, big game hunting. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of those, but yeah, that, that would be my eighth one would be time travel. And, um, so we can, anybody who wants to do it and you want to do my version of it. And the eighth one is time travel. Um, so that's sort of it for the around the world in eight T's tag. It was kind of interesting. Um, like I say, there's a few, few that I couldn't really do because like number five, the uh, books about food. I, I don't really read sort of food journalism. Um, uh, so much, I, you know, I'm sure there's some really good writing out there or, or has been, but I just, it's not something I grab. I, I remember I did have a book, and I don't know if this would fit into it. I used to have a book about tea. Well, I've got a couple now, but I don't have that one. And it was just um, little essays or, or, you know, articles that were written about tea uh, by, oh, I can't even remember what it was, but it was just fabulous. I just, I, re I read it and reread it, but we're talking like, you know, 30, 30 plus years ago. And I've, I haven't seen the book or, you know, I'd, I'd recognize it if I saw it, I think, or, and I think possibly the author, or maybe not the author, but I'd recognize if I saw the book. Um, so I don't know if that fits in with it. Uh, uh, but yeah, um, anyway, um, that's it. Uh, that's to be the last for today uh, for prompts. I mean, uh, for, for video. See, my brain's not working. Um, and... I'll be back with, I think there's the uh, COVID catch-up uh, tag that I think I'd like to do. Uh, I'll see if I can maybe do that tomorrow. Uh, and But anyway, um, take care, BookTube, and I will see you next time.